before we explain um, what was the need for OData in SAP, let me give you a small trivia. So, did you think that SAP invented OData? No, it was Microsoft. Microsoft originally developed and introduced OData. Surprised? So, I was surprised when because I was working in OData and later on found that oh, this OData was developed and introduced by Microsoft. That was a surprise for an ABAPer like me. So, it in fact Citrix. IBM, Microsoft, Progress Software, SAP uh, and WSO2, these were the companies which collaborated together to standardize the OData for the implementation of RESTful. So now everyone came together, they gave their two cents and then they finally uh, managed to develop something called OData which is now universally used by everyone. So and in today's world, OData is managed by a company called OSS organization so OASIS OSIS organization now coming back to the slide what was the need for OData in SAP so the answer is in this slide so look at look at the picture say there was one interface to be built uh, wherein SAP sent some response to say this browser explorer or mozilla browser or this mobile device or operating system so look how many interfaces they have to create Say the response is same, so they have to send the same response to all these three requesting clients, but still they have to build three different interfaces. So that made the industry giants think say that we should have something which will reduce our, our, our labor and reduce our cost and reduce our manpower. So, so what was the need? So before the introduction of OData, there was this point-to-point -point solution. So if you see this, I, I have highlighted it, this is called point-to-point -point solutions. Uh, for SAP to non SAP integration or SAP to the client integration. So, so one application for two different organizations or platform needed two different design in SAP. So even though we are sending the same information, still we had to have built two different uh, interfaces. So what happened, what was, what, uh, was the demerit? The demerit was that this led to duplication of work. It not only led to duplication of work, it was, there was duplication of effort, there was duplication of time and time is money. So there was duplication of money. So this point to point solution was not at all feasible. So, so there had many demerits and as I said, so the, it was poor, there was poor scalability. The, it increased the system landscape complexity. Look, look at the, uh, look at this interface design. So it is really complex and it also increased the administration effort. So therefore, this point-to-point -point solution was never, never a good solution. So what was the solution? So that's why they came with the OData service, which I'll show in the next slide. So the alternative for point-to-point -point solution is this one data model, one API and multiple end user uh, solution. So what does that mean? This means that no matter who requests for uh, some information whether it is requested from a browser or from a mobile device or any operating system so sap just needs to build one odata so they just build one odata service for one request and then that odata will provide in, uh, information to all the requesting clients so you look look at the architecture this is so clean so earlier point to point was so complex now here you have a very clean sol clear solution and and the other advantage of this solution is that this approach provides one solution to any environment any platform and any experience and the other advantage is there is no sap knowledge is required for the consumption of odata so the end clients uh, the consuming clients they don't need to know sap they just need to know the endpoint just or they just need to know the odata service name and then they can consume it Hopefully you understood uh, what was the need of OData. So the need of OData was to make the interface design simple. They did not want to go for point-to-point -point solution. They wanted one um, interface or, or service which can talk to all external world. So that's why this OData was introduced. Before we move to the next slide, let me give you another trivia. So, what is the nearest competitor of OData? And you will be surprised, it is from Google. This is called GData. So, but, but SAP did not uh, uh, embrace GData. Instead, they came to OData because this was more uniform and 
it, it had more advantages and one of the most good advantage over GData was the extensibility feature of Odit.